Hi, I'm Allie. You may remember me as Baba Sheep from Mother Goose Club. But I'm embarking on a new adventure with my friend, Alfie. Join us as we explore the fascinating animal kingdom. Wild, wild, wild. It's Wild Wild Wow! This looks interesting, Alfie. What are you up to? Oh, hi, Allie. I'm just trying to decide which animal in the world is the strongest. See, I've got a gorilla, a crocodile, an elephant, a hippopotamus, and a rhinoceros. They certainly are strong animals, but I don't think any of them are the strongest. Hmm, I know, it must be this one. A lion. Lions are pretty strong. They are, but the strongest animal of all isn't on your board. It isn't? Then which animal should I add? I've got a surprise for you, Alfie. The strongest animal of all is only about half as big as your thumb. Wild, wild, wow. Is that really true? It is. Would you like to see it? I sure would. Then let's check it out. Time to take a look through the creature scope. I can't believe that such a small animal can really be the world's strongest. Prepare to be amazed, Alfie. Take a look and tell me what you see. These look like little beetles. Correct, Alfie. They're dung beetles. And thanks to them, the world is kept nice and clean. How come? If it wasn't for dung beetles, there would be a lot of animal poo. Flies would lay their eggs in it and spread all sorts of nasty diseases. Yuck! We wouldn't want that. Right. So the dung beetles roll the poo into balls and then push the balls away. They can move things that weigh more than a thousand times what the beetles weigh. That's super strong. It's the same as one of us pushing six double-decker buses down a road. Wild, wild, whoa! But what do the beetles do with all that dung? They bury it in the ground. This makes the soil healthier and helps new plants grow. Amazing! Who could ever believe that such a tiny creature could be the world's strongest animal? I said they were amazing. And you were right, Allie. And guess what? I have an amazing activity for us today that I hope you'll love doing. Then what are we waiting for? Come on, guys. All aboard the Zippy Zoomer. Ready, everybody? Let's wow, wow, wow. Hey there, kids, come gather around. Come meet the animals adventures abound. Learning, exploring, let's seize the day. Let's play! Yay! Hills to jungles and seas, up in the sky to the trees. Yeah, it's wild, wild, wild. Come on, let's go outside. Gonna be a wild ride. Are you ready? So wild, wild, wild. What have you got for us, Ellie? It's a fun project where we can learn all about levers. What's a lever? Sometimes we're not strong enough to lift or move heavy things. Levers help us do that. Great. So how do we make a lever? Easy peasy, Alfie. Just follow the steps as we go along. Hmm. First, we'll need some paper cut into the shape of a dung beetle. Each leg has a little hole, so you might need an adult to help you with this part. Then we'll need a hole punch, string, split pins, and scissors. Let's make a lever. First, we're gonna take our hole punch and punch holes in all six of the dung beetle's legs. Mm. Can you do that? Sure. One. Great. Now that there's a hole, I'm gonna be taking the string and thread it through the little hole on the leg. I'm done with all the legs. Great. Now, while I am still working on this string, you can hole punch all six parts of the dung beetle where the legs are going to attach. Right. All done. Great. And I'm almost done, too. Now we're going to attach the legs to our dung beetle using split pins. 
first, I'm gonna flip everything over. Now I'll need a split pin. Sure thing. Here you go. It's gonna go underneath, through the hole, and then split. And then you pull down on the bottom. <gasps> Whoa, it's moving. Do you see how levers work now, Alfie? You only need a little bit of strength to make a big movement. Great work, Allie. And you can try this at home. It's lots of fun. Everybody, see if you can guess which animal I am. I've got four hooves that help me to walk, to trot, and to gallop. I'm quite tall, and I have a mane down my neck that flows beautifully when I gallop. I make a very special sound when I cry out, Nay! Have you guessed which animal I am? Of course you have. I'm a horse! Time for us to head home now. We'll see you soon. And don't forget, we always say, It's Wild Wild Wow! It's Wild Wild Wow!